this shit. She don't do this shit. But she do the m but she do the All of New York has come out to see the hottest females battle it out at Gwinnett Fest. Between BBOD, Young B, and Mariah, man, my lineup is on fire. It's Gwinnett Fest, and I'm here to support my potential new artist, Young B. I want to see how she moves on stage and how she acts in front of some of the important players in this industry. My boy Richie D is back in the city, so I brought him out to enjoy some of the festivities. Y'all know he likes to get his hands on some new female talent. Y'all ready for some hip hop, some ladies hip hop? Make some noise in there. Make some noise What's for up, young B. Y'all good? What's up? I got Mariah Lynn, y'all. And last up, I got BBOD. In the building. Yeah, this is BBOD. I'm Sexy Lexi. And I'm Miss Mo uh -huh. Money. Tonight is a very huge night for me to kill a stage, show Yandy what I'm made of, and secure her as my manager. I knew bum bitches on deck, BBOD was on the lineup, but seeing this ugly bitch Mo just walk on the stage just reminded me about all the things I hate about her. I know we all come from Harlem, but I'm the queen of Harlem, and this ain't no love thy neighbor shit. No, seriously, they better bring it, because I'm about to slaughter they asses. Are y'all ready for these ladies to rip it down? Hey, with it, drop it. Cheer. Any rap chick could get it with no problem. Take it to the streets or to the booth and show rap to the streets. Y'all know I got beat beat. Yeah, I make it rain. Huh, we clear it out. Ooh. The rings and things she sing about. We bring them out. While she was running around, chicken noodle soup in it. I was on the lot picking cop. I felt super rich. Telling the dealers to take the doors in the roof of it. It's BBOD. You are the bras is irrelevant. Is she really trying to comfort me with those whack ass lyrics? I ain't seen Mo in like five years, but obviously the 15 stitches that I gave her wasn't enough to keep her far away from me. Just wait until it's my turn. I'm gonna let y'all hear what real talent sound like. Gwen and Jerry. Hey! I'm like, woo! I turn my siren on. Look around and see who I'm firing on. I'm the eye of the storm and you dying alone. You all the money, you were running the retirement home. Ain't nobody worried about that little snowflake over there, though. I just came to put a bitch back in your place. Keep my name in their mouth like it's Colgate. Head back, tongue out, catch a snowflake. I came out tonight to the Gwyneth Fest to hear some new talent. But what I wasn't expecting to see was my old homie Mariah Lynn on stage. I know Mariah from back in the day. You know we did a little dirt. But back then, she was just a struggling artist. I see not much has changed. Young B is in the building! Queen of Harlem, I've been running the town. It's my city. Never trust a big butt in a snail, but I sits pretty. So hot, so diddy. I'm really rough on any block. So train, no war winner. How can I stop him? I'm never stopping. I'm brown skin. I'm popping. They said it's competition. I said, where? I don't see it. These bitches hating. Better get on the line, I said. These bitches hate me to the back of the line. I said, I'm dread date. I'm dread doc. I said, Zach, my whiz up. I'm winning all the way to the t t t t t you roll on stage, this could be the start to a brand new relationship. Talk about killing it? She just tore the whole stage down. Don't come for me. Please don't come for me. B-B-O-T. Thank you for the shout out to Aladdin Rain. It was cute. One record though. Don't say record. You got one record. What are these broads even talking about? Not one of them have a record on the radio but me. Put two fingers up for peace. And some awards and highlights. Gwen an event. And B, you ain't have a hit in a decade. It's time for you to get a new record. She may think this performance is over, but it's just the beginning, honey. Listen, it's bitches it's like old. you should want to be a friend of me and not an enemy. I'm telling you. You're a joke. Like, no, for real. Seriously. No, you're a nothing joke. a joke. This whole conversation is a All joke. All right, so what are we talking about? If we're not, if we're not talking about money. Daughter, how what? Daughter, how what? Can't, so can't, I give you 15 can't. more stitches. Right. Daughter, how what? 15 stitches. Daughter, how right. what? Right. Don't come for right. me because you're not about that life. Daughter, how what? Hey, Don't hey, hit your We're here to show off our talents, not some hood 
Mo is completely out of control, and we need to get the hell out of here before we make a fool of ourselves any more than we already have. Cause you're not about Don't that get life. Your, and bitch, what? you're not about that life, what? bitch. Don't what? get your what? What? This bickering back and forth has turned a serious showcase into amateur hour. If this is how Young B represents herself in public, I need to think long and hard about taking her on as a client, because I'm not in the business of no mess and no drama. I will f you up. I'm good dead, dead this this bitch. Bitch. And I will do it again. And you was getting that And I will do it again. Don't get it up. Don't get it up. B, you live in the projects, you bum bitch. Projects, bitch, you talking about? You got a Harachi, bitch, with a homemade shirt, with a homemade weed, with a homemade weed. Bye, you lucky security Bye, is right here, because I will bust it open again. Bye, ladies. Bye, gentlemen. I put a lot on the line when I signed BBOD up for Self Showcase. Mo has always been a bit of a firecracker, but the other night, she turned it up just a little bit too much for my taste. And as a new manager, I can't have no artists out here giving me no bad name. Hey, Ra. Hi, princess. Wow. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Girl, that's all right. Sell me shade. Lexi is my heart, but Mo, on the other hand, I don't know about Shorty. I can't sit there and kiki and act like everything is all good when it's not. Girl, I can't. We got a lot to talk about. But you don't we? You're the mess. Like, I seriously cannot. Like, seriously? But I am beyond livid about everything that happened at the showcase. You chose, here's the thing, you chose the wrong time to speak to her. You should have spoken to her, not at an event. When else am I going to see her? And I'm putting my name on the line, and the first time people see you come out and perform, you are basically about to come to blows with somebody. You're my manager. You work for and us. And I make the, the decisions the at the end, end of the don't day, don't because don't at the end of the day, you Maybe need no, me. You I don't, don't need you. You can advise me. I don't need anybody. Yes, Mo was wrong for how she handled the situation at the Cypher. And Ra has the right to be upset about that. But everybody needs to calm the f down and take a breath. This is all completely I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna keep it y'all all two are on a thousand. I'm not gonna argue with this girl. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I'm not asking this is you not to what argue I do. I don't take on opportunities to stress myself out because I'm not in a place where I need this. Clearly in this situation, oh, you obviously are the weak link. BBOD has been through a ringer of managers, trying to tear us apart, break us up, and I feel like that's what Rod's doing right now. Questioning me being a part of this group is so unprofessional. I'm done with this Being that I'm the weak link, I guess she should manage you. you I, I personally because agree. I think I'll that find a manager I, for myself. I agree. I can bet you anything, anything but, she's not going far. But because a bitch that cannot listen, listen is never going to learn it's anything. Not, you don't do a lot that a manager in the music business find is a supposed new manager, to do. Boo -boo. I will. Ron may have gotten us this spot at the showcase, but this is about the only thing she's done in the months that she's been working with us. Ron doesn't come to the studio sessions. She doesn't invest any money or time in what we do. And she obviously got a personal problem with me being in this group. I was gonna suggest that you get your Beyonce on and remove yourself from this whole Destiny Child situation. So from now on, I'll speak to you and you can relay the message to your manager. And I'm done. This is crazy. Bye-bye. This is crazy. She going nowhere fast, honey. No, but you have, fast. listen, maybe she feels like it's favoritism. You know, being that me and you were friends before the business, maybe she feels like you're attacking her. I don't know, she's never expressed it to me, but I do know that it's time that you call me and you don't call her. Maybe if we she have, has some if we have a, if we, No, I don't so, think it's that. I don't think so it's that. So you're saying? Just to talking. the fact that you're sitting here and having a conversation with somebody that told you that you wanted to go solo <laughs> shows but me I'm, I'm defending your loyalty. You right now. But it's all right. See, she can't even be oh, quiet, even in this setting. Of course, okay. I'm not going to be quiet go. for someone that's been here. Thank you. We're going to go. Here, go. This girl brings about. She but I'm not go going so. Bye, you darling. Bye. 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 This is freaking ridiculous. Ron tried to get Lexi to leave the group and go solo, and that tells me that she does not believe in BBOD, and she does not have the experience to take us to the next level. Speaking of Yandy made me realize that BBOD needs a real manager, and Ra ain't it. Door, door. Here we go with that daughter sh again. Hey, daughter. Don't she know that every time she uses that word, it gets her into some trouble? You letting that steam off? From, from this week? Huh. We got a lot to talk about, about um, all of that stuff that happened the other day. 
Okay, so let's go sit down. And it's just been a lot. A lot is an understatement. Mo and Ra pretty much went at it. It's hard enough to be taken seriously as a female MC in the rap game. All the bickering and backering, they look like clowns. No matter how many mixtapes, how many videos you drop, if we're not taken seriously, it's all for nothing. You know, I honestly feel like there's a lot of favoritism that Rod does with you. I went to address these situations, but she came at me off the rip. Off the rip with an attitude. You came up, you spoke to her, it was all, hey, Lexi, Kiki. She didn't even get up to, to say hello to me. So how does that, how does that look? No, it does look so, like okay, it's an issue. So off the rip is shade. So you don't think that I'm gonna sit down now and not feel some type of way? Her mentioning the fact that you need to go solo. But Mo, if you said I it, agree. you felt it. And I agree, and if then you, you said, said it too, and I wanna say it. to you, I am team BBOD, I'm with you. Mo needs to express whatever pent up frustration she has with Ra so we can get over the fighting and get back to the music. Ra's not a street bitch we got beef with. This is a meeting about our music. Do you think that I would have had the opportunity to express how I felt there Mo, yesterday? you had plenty of opportunity. You could have even called her today. You could have called her yesterday. It's pride. I was busy. It's pride. I was busy. I'm going to tell you why I didn't text her because okay. I was busy meeting with Yandy. Obviously, Ra done got in your head. She didn't get in my head. What's your problem with your head? What's your problem? Why didn't you tell me about the meeting? We're a group. That's tip for tat, and that's disloyalty. Myself, and it was disloyalty on your end. You sitting there with another bitch. Okay, another yep, bitch? Yep. Well, your manager. My manager. Your manager, my you manager. hired her. I don't know, I don't know if she's my manager. I, I don't know if she's you my gave manager. Her to me. It was okay for you to sit down and talk about how you felt with Ra. I felt like, you know what, I'm gonna go sit with Yandy. She don't feel that Ra is fit to manage us. If Mo is talking about firing Ra, I'm not cool with that. No matter what Yandy advised her, it should never discredit what Rai has done for the group. I do feel like Rai has been loyal to us on a loyalty tip. I feel like she's brought us to a position that's still good, even though it's not everything. She brought us to a good position, so it's like, let's sit down with her and we'll hash everything out and see where we can go moving forward. I'm willing to entertain a conversation, but my mind is already made up. I don't feel like Rai has the credentials or the experience that BBOD needs. Hopefully Lexi will wake up one day and see that the best thing for this group is new management. Whatever, Alexis. Tonight is a huge night for Lexi and me. We are celebrating the release of our new single, Tata Talicious, and Ra has brought out the entire industry to check us out. And this event better go off without a hitch. to finish my commitment between myself and Lexi because she's my girl. But as far as a future between Ra and BBOD, it ain't happening. I like it. Uh, you? Yeah. You? Hold on. <laughs> DB, Mo's dad, is sitting here complimenting me on the outcome of the single release party, and I think the girls are gonna realize that they might have just lost themselves a real good manager. No shade. Hi, Daddy! What's going on? Bad bitches on deck? Yes! This party is lit. I knew Rob was gonna come through at the end. And hopefully when everything goes off without a hitch, cause you know we about to put it down tonight, we could get back to the music. Yes, we hug! Yes, we kiss! I will admit, Rod did a good job putting this event together, so far. But Lexi better not get any ideas. Rod and I can kiki all we want, but we will never, ever be artist and manager again. You guys look really sexy. I like that. Thank you. Yes. Don't we always? Don't we always? Find a way to make compliment her to himself. Instead of saying thank you, I like your hair. Got to toot her own horn. Oh, oh, so she now got you in this industry event. I know. And you know what I'm saying? You gotta start rocking with me. That's a little dope event. Yeah, I see. There's a lot of move makers. Now that I put the pieces of my personal life back together. I can get back to business. BBOD is premiering their single tonight at this party, so I said, guess what? I'ma bring my friend Mariah Lynn so she can rub elbows with some industry heads. Also, she can watch these girls perform, and maybe she can learn a little something. Anybody ask you for any business inquiries, or you send them to me. Let's have a good time. As we continue to keep, keep it, it winning. That's right. What's up? She don't do dishes, she don't do dishes, but she do the but she do the
since they went ham at Soul Cypher. I must admit, they got some skills, but I don't know about these lyrics. Either way, I'm happy I got to come out with Soul tonight to support them. I'm even happier that I get to see my man Candy Cisco walk through that door. And we are I know I'm late to the party, but I'm happy I made it just in time to see my girl Mo killing on that stage. I'm looking forward to meeting her partner in crime, Lexia, tonight. And maybe some of her folks. I want to be the date that she deserves tonight, because you know, she is looking good. Hi, baby. Oh, that was dope. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you could join us. Hi, Cisco. I heard so much about hey, you. He was definitely How supposed to be. How did you like the be... performance? It was dope. It was supposed to be my date, but she was late. I had a session that no, ran a little no, late. No, no, no. If you bad. tell her you had date, supposed to be here with her. Right, it's my right. first time meeting you. I don't like that. All right. Bye, OK, I guess that didn't go too well with Lexi. But damn, you can't blame a guy for being late just one time. Hopefully, I can make it up to Mo for the rest of the evening. Maybe all night long. She can handle it. Come in. What you talking about? You came on late. My bad, man. I tried. I had a session that ran late. So you're sorry. I'm saying you made it work, though. So Anything good. that we involved with is positive. So you, you don't need my help. I don't need you. Hey. Hey. I was not expecting Mariah Lynn to come walking her little ass up in this party. I didn't even know she knew Mo. This could go left right now, but I'm going to play it cool. That was a good performance. Mariah Lynn. Thank you for coming. Y'all have a number four? We met. We met. I like your song. I like your music as well. Thank you. So y'all two working together? This is my boo. Yeah. Oh, that's your boo? Yeah, I know. I didn't know that. Told my girl and all that, but we ain't serious like that. And I'm just getting to know Mariah as a client. Yeah, I can handle this. I just got to stay calm and nobody gets hurt. I told Cisco that he can't work with anybody before he do my record. Oh, OK, because, you know, we kind of been macking a little bit. So we've been macking. Yeah, but I told you, like, you ain't going to be telling me who I can work with and who I can't. Oh, this is and all asked, to me. I mean, I asked him if he was seeing anybody, so. You've been dating. Definitely been dating. I definitely told you. I didn't know that you was dating. You know I was dating? I didn't know that y'all date in general. Because I asked him if he was seeing anybody, and he didn't say nothing. So I was like, oh, OK. So how about I leave you two lovebirds to finish y'all conversation? Nah, we can stay here. Mo don't date anybody along with anyone else. When this mother Cisco said that we should take things slow, I guess he meant slow enough so he could f other bitches. Hm. Really? That's what we doing? Obviously, y'all cool with it. I'd rather know the truth as a woman instead of Well, you like... know it. Now I'm sitting at my release party with this nothing ass bitch telling me that she's macking with my dude? Oh, hell no. Mo don't play a fool for nobody. So let me see my way out of this situation before it get a little too much for this white girl to handle. Cisco's now dating you. He's not dating Mo. Okay, well, I didn't know Y'all got me up. No, I don't got no Mo. Mo. Is this like some creep squad karma or something? I can't let Mo walk out of here feeling crazy like we ain't have nothing special together. But I do stand on the fact that we weren't in a serious relationship, so I can date whoever I want. And so can she. But I do care about the girl, and I'm not gonna let it end like this. You know we've been seeing each other, but you know, at the same time I told you, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing in my personal life. I, mean, I told no, no, you that. No, no, no. I never, I you never said. You were trying to figure out. You figured out what you were doing with your personal life. You, you don't need me. Matter of fact, security can escort both of y'all, and y'all can have a good time. Security ain't touching nobody, though, Ma. Let me just tell you. Security can escort both of y'all bitches out. You got me fed up. Bitch, you got you up. Here we go again with Mo having a confrontation with somebody. Everywhere we go. When is Lexi gonna learn to leave this bitch in the dust? Mo can't even keep it cute at her very own single release party. You got me f***ed up. Bye bye. Slapping glasses out of somebody's hand like that's intimidating, bitch. Bye bye. Is she serious right now? Haven't we had enough drama? Mariah Lynn is like five pounds. If I even walk past her, the wind's gonna blow her away. Mo, I could tell you this, boo boo, she's not worth it. I was gonna be your friend. I was gonna Mom, be your friend. I don't need friend. friends. You're right. Talking you were the whole need friends. Have right, fun. Get a hit single, Ma. That's what you need instead of friends. 
Mola had feelings get in the way of her better judgment at the single release party. And lately, her feelings get in the way of a lot of BBOD's business. Between her drama with Young B at the Cypher, her issues with Riley, and her stepping to Mariah Lynn, I'm starting to see a pattern that I don't like. What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> Thank you for meeting me last no. minute. I have so gotcha. much to talk about. I don't know what to do with Mo anymore, but I'm hoping my Uncle Tretch can give me some much needed advice. Tretch has been a friend and a mentor to Mo and I for years. He's Mo's dad, DB's friend, and he's a big supporter of BBOD. And as a member of one of the biggest rap groups in history, Naughty by Nature, I think Tretch knows a thing or two about this group life. One of the main reasons I wanted to talk to you because me and Mo were like going through a weird transition. First of all, we've been family before the music, so we have that bond, but I feel like now the music is affecting our love for each other. And it's like, I'm so tired, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, it's crazy too if you're a group. I guarantee you 90% of the groups, 95% of the groups didn't get along through the whole thing. So it has to be a negotiation. Right. Everybody has to work together or you lose as a team. Right, and I feel like with Mo, she becomes very selfish. She only cares about herself and her decision rather than let's negotiate. She's always like the head one. Yes. It's like it's my way or the highway. Yes. There's gotta be a way that y'all can sit down. I'm telling you, cause it's a cutthroat industry. All eyes are on y'all at all times. You don't wanna be the ones that come in and they like, they trouble. Right. They won't even want you in there. Promoters don't want to book you. It makes you look crazy, look like you're not organized, don't have it together. People don't want that no more. Before, you used to have artists, development, and labels and stuff. Now you see it's all, you got to develop yourself. If you don't get it, you will get out. If you ain't in it to win it, you in the way. And if she don't understand that, she's going to destroy the whole brand. Tretch is right. Mo is destroying BBOD from within because her actions are giving us a bad rep. I know Mo is not trying to make us feel on purpose, but how the hell do I smack some sense into this girl? If it's affecting us moving forward, something has to change or I have to go do what I have to do for me. You know what, that what I'm feeling like, she need to talk to DB. Okay. If anybody she gonna respect would be DB. Even though DB is Mo's dad, he's also a dad to the group. He's very invested in BBOD's success. He puts a lot of time and his finances into BBOD. So I think Tretch is right. DB is the right person I need to talk to. I don't know how Mo's gonna feel about it, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. I'm gonna sit down with him first and then hopefully they can talk and figure things out. So if she don't listen to him, then you gotta start thinking about you. All right. What y'all doing here? Talking. Having a little meeting. Last time I checked, we didn't have a BBOD meeting set up for today. Lexi's like my sister, and she's always welcome here, but she don't normally just pop up at the house unannounced, and she definitely don't sit around with my dad when I'm not around. So when I walked into the house with my mother and my sister, I'm trying to figure out what's really going on. We was just having a talk. I asked to talk to him alone because I feel like Everything lately, I can't get through to you. Everything is I, I, me, me. I have nothing to hide. So maybe Mo popping up at the house unexpectedly is a blessing in disguise. At the end of the day, we need to hash out what's going on with us. One thing I know for sure is that Mo needs to agree to make some serious changes before I agree to stay in this group any longer. You could have came to me and spoke to me on your own. If you have a personal problem or things that you need to say to me, then I think it's that you should address you, it to me. It's but, about but you're talking how about I problems feel, that you have. And I'm gonna talk to him about it because he's a part of the team. You feel that it's okay to take up our personal issues with my dad. What if our I feel like I don't want him knowing our business. I don't go to anybody else. I don't and, care what you do. That's the problem. Anything about you. I, I, I do. I, 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 exactly I, because I, the conversation I, I, is about he, me. He, he, it's not only it's about, about you, me right here. Obviously, you came and sat here and had a conversation making, about it's me. Decisions that so you're it's making about for me. me. BBOD, see? Me, it's me, about I, I, I. It's about the group. It's not about you. It ain't just about you. It's always about you. Bottom line is, she's tired of you referring to every situation. Me. Well, obviously, y'all are having a conversation about me right now. I can't believe that Lex would take our personal issues to my father. Where's your balls? I'm standing right here. You're getting too big-headed around here. Okay. No, y'all, you causing controversy between I'm the I'm not group. causing no. And then my father has the nerve to side with her. This is crazy. 
cheated. I'm with Lexi and Mo. To work as a team. It's a big thing. Lexi, tell him out. It doesn't matter. It's You're talking thing. to him about my personal and life, though. He's You're talking to him about my personal life. Both of y'all need to this is true. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I realized that Mo is never going to change. I don't need to hear one more word from this bitch to understand that Rob was right the whole time. The only way I'm going to make it to the top is if I drop Mo in the grave she's been digging since the damn cypher. I'm out of here. Bye, bitch. See, Dad, that's, that's it. That's controversy. That's it, bro. That's it. Dad, this shouldn't be happening. I'm done. I'm done. I'm doing my own music. Dad, if you want to support, you can support. I'm done. I never needed anybody to be successful. Not Lexi and not nobody else. Done. I need a blouse. I'm gonna have a field day with this tomorrow. Honey. Tonight is supposed to be my fashion show where I get the opportunity to showcase my dress line that I've been working on for months. Yet here I am about to sit in complete silence because Remy decides that her pride is more important than our friendship. I have a packed event. Models dressed to kill, Mariah Lynn about to perform, and my friend is ultimately stabbing me in the back. That's why my husband don't want me around because he don't want me around. Around you and you possibly bringing people that could cause me problems around me. I want to end the whole event just cause, cause I'm tight. Why would you put me in a situation where somebody gonna try me? I feel like people take advantage because they know I'm on parole, but as much as it kills me, I know I'm better than that. And I'm trying to be better than that. I want to kill you right now. Tight, but I know if I leave and I take the DJ and I go home, I'm gonna be furious. So just this go, turn on the music, let these big booty holes walk down the dress with the stupid dresses, and just go and just get it over. Just go, just go. Where's the makeup people? Fix my makeup, put in stupid shoes, just fix it. I don't know what just happened, but in all the madness, Remy decides to let the DJ stay. Remy and I are not good. But we're gonna have to put our personal issues aside, cause right now the show must go on. When did Ra agree to let Little Snowflake perform at her event? Isn't Ra my manager? Mariah couldn't even spit at self cipher and had the nerve to get into a remote at my single release party. I'm not gonna disrespect Rye at her little event. I'm gonna walk my little cute ass down that runway and after I'm done, it's on. Um, Boo Boo, I'm a rapper and you know I would've killed that stage. You, you, are back. Y'all get you back, back. Uh, How much my money, gun money, bitches? How much my money, gun money, bitches? I just stop and reload and I'm shooting everybody. I am relieved that this night is over. And despite all the madness, my dresses did look amazing. The crowd was loving Mariah Lynn's performance. There's only one thing left to do for your girl is pack this show up and hit the road. Cause I certainly had enough for the night. Come, what's no, the don't matter? Do that. Don't do that. You felt that she was ready to perform for your show, but I'm not ready to perform She's for your show. She's been a solo artist. I don't have to do anything. I've been a rapper for six years. So if you needed me to perform and be ready for the show, I would have been ready for the show. That's what you call ready? But I didn't want to put that's you in that. That's I a good performance. I didn't want to put you under that type of pressure. That doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure if you guys Hi. have formally met in the past before. Well, I'm Mariah Lynn. I'm Mariah Lynn, this is nice to Alexis. Meet you. You're the hell. You That's what you want. I'm the hell, okay. bitch. Do I look like the hell? Yes. Well, Matter of fact, Barbie. you need to give me a Barbie. dust pan because it's a dusty bitch in the room that I need to sweep. So dust me, bitch. Oh, please, girl, so bye. Dust me, bitch. I'm not fing up her event for you. Uh, I'm not even talking to you. I don't give a fing. I don't give a fing. talking to my fuck? manager. And it's my manager, too. What the fing? I was here before you. Oh, well, I'm here now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm here now, mom. This bitch is all bark and no bite. She just mad that Ra chose me to perform over her. Didn't I just have to handle your sidekick hoe? Uh, I mean, Mo. And for the record, the only bad bitch with a record is Mariah Lynn. You barking, but you not biting, Ma, because I'm right here. Can you take your model and bring that bitch back to the door? Show ladies. It's quite clear that my guests are able to hear this fight that's going on backstage. Ladies, please stop.
Ra sounded really excited about our studio session today, and the fact that she's here to support me on my first solo record is a step in the right direction. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little skeptical about Ra still managing me. So we'll see how today goes. Here she is. Oh my oh. God. Here she is. <laughs> That's right. I got my boy, French Montana, to come in the studio and to listen to Lexi's first solo record. So hopefully Frenchie likes what he hears in that studio and will be willing to lend some support. Hi, guys! Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi, What's up, baby? Hi, What's, up? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Yes. Yeah. Rob came through in a big way. The fact that they're here at my studio session can only mean one thing, that they're here to listen to my new single, and I won't disappoint them. So I want him to listen to the record. OK. So I want you to play the track for them. OK. Perform the track for them and oh, let them it? absolutely okay. and let them see that when I come through and I say I got talent, that I really got talent. Ooh. Playing my track is one thing, but a live performance on the spot, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh it's been a while since you've seen something like this. Righteous, pretty face, nice shit. Gotta be the right ish. Not to brag, but I know I'm bad. When I come out, I love dressing, so I show my. But it's nothing like a man who understands you. Eat the cake and let you blow out the candles. Oh. I'm the one like he rolled me a bamboo. I'm preserved, you other girls just ran through. I am so proud of Lexi right now. This is the star that I knew she could be. And it's clear that both French and Zach are feeling her. Hopefully enough for French Montana to lay his vocals on the track. How you feel when you hear the song? I love it. I love it when a sexy female talking that sexy so can you hear yourself coming in like, huh, on the intro? That might be too sexy for me, though. <laughs> I want you to take the track with you. Yeah, I'm, let, me, let me live with it. Live with it. Because even if it's not this one, we got to make sure it's the right one. That's right. I got a million of those. Yeah, I know you do. I'm sorry, did French Montana just agree to work with me? That's amazing. I would never, ever doubt Miss Rashida Ali again. Sexy Lexi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we good, baby. Yeah. All right, Ross, stay Bye, black. Babe. I'm a bad bitch, that's what y'all fear. Y'all hoes looking for talent, it just ain't there. I could rock red bottles for a straight year. You two and they bitches, the same pair. In the club, I'll never get a drink there. Tell a waitress, bring more bottles than the daycare. In the streets, they know me, I got candy. My men in DC say I'm Yandy. I've been working hard to lay down these verses on this track Yandy gave me. She's giving me an opportunity as a solo artist, and I'ma blow her mind. I can't wait till she hear what I got. Me look it, I got it. Your bank account be right here in my pocket. I see it, I want it, I cop it, I drop it and cut you up out the frame. I go off topic, let's get to the topic, let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Mo was in the booth, she got here early, she's spitting that reel, she looks good, she sounds good. That's the type of work ethic I'm looking for in my clients. Hey, girlfriend, Hi. I see you working, mama. Hi. <laughs> you look cute. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to see you working. I know. They Can I have five minutes? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> you sound good, boo. That's going to be my moneymaker right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gave you that track because I wanted mm -hmm. to see how you sound on a party record. I realized a lot of your records was hardcore, gangster. You're making me want to fight. But I want to see if you can make me want a club, make me want to dance. So you did a good job. I'm happy you like it. Yeah, I do, I do. I, well, I heard the tail end of it. What did I make you want to? You made me want to dance. Hustle. You, you did. You made me want to drop it like a side. You was flowing. Got a line or two in there for I, you. You do? I miss a lot of people but I heard the, oh, what was it, the bottles? I don't pay for bottles. Nope, nope, nope. No. I said, my men in D.C. say I'm Yandy. Your men in, in D.C. say I'm Yandy. Is that it? Men D.C. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, is that a play on like words? Like they call me, they call me their wife. Uh, my men uh, in D.C. say I'm Yandy. I got it, L. I got to hear that one. I'm going to play it for you. Let me hear so it. So you can hear the beginning hear the and everything here. else. Let me see what you got. In the streets, they know me, I got candy. My men in D.C. say I'm Yandy. Call nice, but my attitude nasty. Men chasing me like Jimmy did fancy. What the hell is going on here? Mo is the last person I ever wanted to see again, and Yandy's in here playing her my track. Yandy has been on me about being late, and this time, I'm bright and early. And thank God I was, because this right here, this is some bull What's up, Yandy? Hi. Why you got in the studio with you, though? What you mean? Like, why she in the studio here? What you mean? How you doing? Hi. 
Yandy. Cardi. Nice to meet you. Nice what you mean? Too. I mean, why is she in the studio? Like, and I, oh, that sound like the record. My first of all, I wasn't session. talking to you. First of all, I know I was you wasn't talking to me, so but you're in my studio. Mind your business. Mind your business. I don't know what studio session is. I ain't here though. Don't get embarrassed for the second time. I just got my nails done and my wig is so loose. I ain't trying to be in this hot mess right now. They just need to calm down. Y'all ain't gonna pop off. Shut the hell up. Get embarrassed like what? Don't, don't get, get embarrassed, embarrassed like for the what? second time. Get embarrassed like what? I don't know who this girl thinks she is. Strolling into my studio session, acting as if she don't know that I've been working with the end. We don't have time for you deadbeats when we trying to get this coin. Why are you in the studio while you in? Do you pay my bills? You invited me to do the Gwinnin Fest and you put me in the etiquette class so that I could get my together and but that has nothing I got to do with. But state. that has nothing to do with my business, Bianca. Oh, OK. And you talking about don't get embarrassed. Mo, you can't fight. Be, I already be, you up before. Be, 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 be what? Be. Be. You're mad don't ugly. Get be what? Be what? Be what? Be what? Be what? I don't care about none of them. I don't care about none of them. Mad about what? Bitch, you trash. You're not on the radio. Make some good music, bitch. Make some, yeah, I'm on the radio. What you talking about? Yes, my song is on the radio right now. Oh my gosh, Bianca, didn't I just send you to etiquette class? This is exactly the nonsense I'm talking about. If you want to be late to a studio session, act like you don't care. I pay for the track. I can give it to who I want to give it to. Hey. Andy not even going to work with you. You're trash and real. She's never going to work with you, bitch. She's never going to work with you. 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 She's Different stories, so, so why, why you wanna do me like that? Yeah. Why, why you, you wanna, wanna do me like that? that? If you did it, I'ma do it right back. Yeah. Why, why you wanna, wanna do me like that? that? If you did it, I'ma do it right back. He gon' leave, just give him some time But now it's like the time that he's giving his mind Fast forward the process, skip the rewind Cause I ain't with the game, boy, you out of your mind I see his mind is somewhere else And what he's giving to me went to someone else He think he's playing me, but he's playing himself But he know it's something different by the way that I felt But tell me that BBOD! Yes, baby, BBOD is back together. And impressing a label like Def Jam as a duo can only mean great things for Mo and I. I know that together we can be unstoppable. No, I need y'all to make more noise than that! Mo and Lexi getting back together is just as fraudulent as those asses they wear. Make some noise for Mariah Lee! Never, bitch. Things that you do, you'll be never rich. Never popping, you'll be never it. You're way at the top, but I never miss. Never bitch, never bitch. Never ever, 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 ever bitch. Never bitch, never bitch. Never ever, 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 ever bitch. Run from you, never. Number two, never. I guess don't get the chatter. You need to get your together. Woo! Never bitch. Dollars at the judges table is only telling me that I need to work double hard and I'm coming for one person only, Miss No Money. You wanna be lit? <laughs> Bitch, never. Please, never, ever, ever, ever. Make some noise for Mariah Lydia! I'm not really worried about Mariah's performance right now. Come on, this is a joke. Make some noise for Signature! Yeah. 
I do not envy these judges right now. All these ladies did a great job, but guess what? There's only one number one. I heard BBOD, didn't I mean, they was close, but BBOD. Here go my thing. BBOD had a lot more crowd participation. It was confident. Yeah, they, were, they, were okay. they had presence. They, 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 was, they, they had presence. Well, we don't agree with you. I even like what Mario Lynch is at. That doesn't have to be a Hello, Miss Thing. Oh, look at you. Hi. Me and Bianca, we tore that stage down tonight. And if I don't win this thing, she better, cause Lord knows these bum bitches didn't bring anything but dumpster juice, straight trash. We just trying to see what's going on backstage. Oh, um, what's up? Nothing. You did a great job. You you look real good. You, oh, you did. You, you seem a little high style today. But um, you know I got some. I figured I'd just show you for myself. Okay. What's this? I guess little Miss Lexi don't know that her partner in crime is a bona fide snitch. I was gonna hold it until Mo got feisty, but <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Bianca Supreme, Monisha Brown. Okay, where's her signature? What is this? Her name is right there. Oh, I know exactly what that is. My girl Mariah is too funny. Yo, you got Mo restraining order on me front and center. Come on, Mo, what you gotta say now? Okay, but well, what is this? I'm confused. You're a snitch. Mm -hmm. Bitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's get it yeah, popped, bitch. Come on, bitch. bitch. Let's get it popped, yeah, bitch. What the you talking about? What's up? Only a weak ass bitch walks around acting like a G, but really is a rat. Bitch, take your ass back to the hole that you came from. Why do y'all hold me? Listen. Why do y'all hold me? The girls got me up. Here she go again. If they think they gonna clown more money, huh, they about to find out. Baby, bye bye. It's fine. You kept it real cute. Yeah. It's fine. No, no, not tonight. Boom, bow, bitch. Kaboom, Ding. kaboom. Pull the track out. Welcome back to Love & Hip Hop The Reunion. And right now, I'm joined by Mariah Lynn, Mo, and Cisco. After having his luck run out with women last year, Cisco decided to take his chances with a new relationship this season. But the Mo women that he got tangled up with, the Mo problems he found himself left with. Take a look. I've been dating this hot producer for a couple months now, and things have been going really good for us. He's exactly the type of guy I'm looking for. I got a new client coming in today, and I'm excited. Looking forward to making some new magic. I would love to hang out with you. Yeah, so let's get together soon. I'm with it. You have beautiful eyes, you know that? Thank you. I, I really like them. You mind if I take a better look at them? No, mm, that's fine. Linking up with Cisco was a good move for my career. It also doesn't hurt that he's sexy as hell. I know I'm late to the party, but I'm happy I made it just in time to see my girl Mo killing on that stage. You came on late. My bad, man. I thought I had a session that ran late. Hey! Got to working together? This is my boo. Yeah. Oh, that's your boo? Yeah, I know. I didn't know that. You know, we kind of been macking a little bit. Oh. This girl's now dating you. He's not dating Mo. Okay, well, I didn't know Y'all got me f***ed up. Mo, how long were you two actually dating? Um, just a couple of months. Couple months. Okay. Nothing too serious. Okay. It wasn't serious, but you did seem a little upset to find out he was dating other women. So if it wasn't serious, were you guys still seeing other people? Well, you know what it was? Um, besides us dating, me and Cisco, Cisco got really cool, like okay. as a, on a friendship level. Okay. And I felt like he was down for me. Okay. Cisco, do you feel like you led Mo on some? I think I was pretty uh, clear with Mo in, in the sense where it was like, yo, you know, at that moment, I wasn't really looking for a relationship. So I think if you happened... wasn't looking for a relationship, why tell me not to date anyone else? You told her that? Let's not play the tape for my prior sit down. Um, where you cook for me. OK? You cooking? Let's not get up. Yeah. I do cook, yeah. OK. Listen, I, I don't remember saying that, but you know. OK. I'm, I'm... She's saying? I don't remember saying okay, that. OK, we what got I will... old timers. We know you're a little old, but yeah. let's not forget it. 
Mariah, let me ask you, why did you have an issue with Mo at the party? My issue with her was that she said, well, Cisco can't work with anybody but me. And I felt like she jumped on me, and when she slapped the drink out of my hand, that was violation. Wrong place, okay. wrong time. Did you? That's you why just felt like you could bully you. her because she weighed like no, 100 baby, pounds. Right. I didn't feel like... like... No, we bitch, go. don't start with me, because I will What's find your ass. Both y'all bitches is pussy. Oh, don't matter. talk, because you pussy. You mad pussy. You mad pussy. Shut the Okay. Oh, again, right. Not getting out of my Mo. character. Mo. Cardi, let me ask you a question. One second, everybody, please. I don't please. need nobody. One second, Mariah. Right. 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 You, you have this we, we know you like to talk. Ladies, we gotta talk one like, at a time. Cardi, let me ask you today. Everybody has a problem with BBOD. You feel like everybody. BBOD is a group. You feel like they bully her because she's yeah, tiny? Yeah, because she's like, you know, her little pounds and whatnot. Like, you always try to come at people Lexi or whatever. Wasn't even, Lexi wasn't even there when I, I was dealing with Mariah. Right. When I was dealing with Mariah. And Riley's like, you different. You wasn't there, so why is your business? was different. You but you was mad pussy, though. You, you was mad pussy, though. What the fuck out of here, you you all about my weight, though. Like, Ladies, no, time. you contradicting yourself, Mariah, saying you never spoke relax. about my weight. Okay, when in the first about? episode, clearly you said she like five pounds. I walk okay, past her and blow her away. Well, bitch, blow, huff and puff and try to <laughs> blow me down. Bitch, It's your girl Yandy. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe to the new Love and Hip Hop YouTube channel because it's about to be popping. You'll see all the old stuff, all the new stuff. We can get popping up there. All right, period, poo.